Welcome, YouTube. We have some late breaking news here out of the Eastern Sierra, and it is not good news, guys. This is terrible news. Another bacterial outbreak at two of the major Eastern Sierra fish hatcheries, and this is just going to be a massive loss up there for the Eastern Sierra opener and the upcoming trout season as a whole and uh, likely going to move into even the, the coming seasons because of the volume of fish that will likely be lost here. So what's going on up there? Uh, Black Rock Hatchery and the Fish Springs Hatchery both uh, have detected a another outbreak, it looks like. Um, they've already had uh, these hatcheries as, uh, along with the hot creek hatchery also had a major uh, infection recently um, but in this case and this latest outbreak the black rock hatchery here tested positive um, for bacteria in a hundred and twenty thousand fish and uh, the fish springs hatchery had pretty much the whole hatchery at five hundred and fifty thousand fish tested positive um, they, they're saying that uh, with the current outbreak they did already give one round of vaccines to these fish. Um, I mean, it's literally the COVID of trout. And <laughs> I mean, you just can't make this stuff up, guys. I, we, we've just had no luck in the last two years getting the Eastern Sierra fishery back. And uh, as you know or may not know, um, over the last maybe five, six years, the, the fishing in the Eastern Sierra has just really deteriorated. And has been propped up by outsourcing trout plants from Oregon and Idaho, supported by some of the local uh, resorts and resort owners, and some other organizations like the Bridgeport Fish Enhancement Program, uh, which is a great program, by the way. Uh, but they're they're being propped. It's being propped up. It just cannot continue without the fishing game and having a, a nice local. Uh, large hatchery, a series of hatcheries to support these fisheries. And uh, what a massive hit. They are talking about um, working and uh, working on it and trying to figure out what's going on. But they're saying that the latest, um, the latest uh, outbreak may have been caused by birds and uh, picking it up from somewhere else. And, uh, you know, they're saying that it's found in a lot of fish farms in central Mexico. So they're thinking birds out of Mexico migrated north and uh, ended up infecting these hatcheries with this disease. So, wow, guys. I mean, this is a major, major, major hit to the fishery. Um, they are talking about planting some of these fish if they can survive. They're talking about dumping them into some of the local waters that would not affect even larger bodies of waters. And uh, that'll be a, you know, a huge win if that happens. But as a whole, right now, you really only have Hot Creek Hatchery is the only one online up there that's going to be stocking. So they're going to have to borrow fish again from somewhere. Um, I, I, I was getting excited for this year because I remember last year reading the articles about the outbreaks last year and they said yeah look the, you know this is a major hit but listen next year we're going to have this taken care of so come the opener we'll have a nice amount of fish to plant and uh you know trout trout grow pretty fast especially in hatcheries but um they are while yeah they they grow fast but they take a year or two to really get up to size that you'd want to catch them you know we're not out we're not going to drive four or five hundred miles to fish the eastern sierra to catch a six inch trout you know what i mean we want to see those three four or five pound fish you know in there and a lot of ones and twos would be great but uh man another major hit so they're working on it guys they're working on it and this isn't the only um this isn't the only problem out here in the in the hatchery world um over at uh, Hesperia Lake, if you guys are familiar with that, um, here in he uh, Hesperia in California, um, they have had another uh, issue going on with catfish. I wasn't aware 
that there was a catfish in- industry shortage out there, guys. There, there's a major shortage of catfish, and uh, they have had problems sourcing catfish plants and have uh, basically resorted to planting other species like uh, tilapia and wipers out there. Um, it's like a hybrid striper. They're pretty much just doing whatever they can to stay afloat here. So um, it's incredible. I, I just cannot believe all these shortages with the fish plants. It's getting sad uh, for the fishing industry. So um, guys, if you are headed to the Eastern Sierra, and I know many of you that follow this channel are, I highly recommend that you pass on the news of this shortage and uh, really look into catch and release. I know um, you're not going to hear that too often out of this channel because I, I truly believe that, hey, you buy your license, you have the right to keep whatever the regulations say you can keep. But I'm just telling you guys, um, look into catch and release as much as you can um, because it's going to be very dismal up there in the Eastern Sierra um, affecting uh, a large portion of their area. So for perspective, you know, the the Eastern Sierra is, it covers a very large area. I mean, it's 180 miles, uh, uh, basically from, you know, about Olancha all the way up here to Bridgeport. Um, this whole stretch is like 180 miles of fishable waters. And uh, they had three hatcheries, uh, two of them right here, in the lower Owens Valley, like I say here, a big pine area and uh, another one near Independence. So um, the other one up here near Mammoth Lakes at Hot Springs Hatchery is it. And uh, they're going to be borrowing from Fillmore Hatchery and some other hatcheries. I'm sure they're going to use them. But with with the Eastern Sierra taking fish from there, it's going to mean less fish for everywhere else. So just a massive hit for the industry as a whole. And uh, I'm just sad for the Eastern Sierra, especially with the opener, just days away, just days away. And uh, Jared up there at Parchers, now owner of Lake Sabrina Landing, uh, recently posted that he hasn't even seen a stocking truck in the canyon for Bishop Creek Canyon with the opener just days away. There have been no, no word of any stocks going on in Bishop Creek Canyon. Guys, that is insane. That is absolutely insane. I've been fishing this year for over 30 years, and I've never heard that they haven't even put fish in there. I mean, this is getting really scary for the fisheries up there. And I, I truly do feel bad um, at some level for these resorts uh, because, man, their whole livelihood just depends on this summer fishery. And um, and it's, it's, it's just dwindling away in front of their eyes. And it's not looking like it's going to get a whole lot better for at least a year. I mean, they were just basically told, hey, guys, um, we're have li- we're going to have limited fish for the next year. So your year, the fishing is going to be bad. And you know what that means? I mean, people are going to go up there uh, with you got six bucks a gallon up here in the Sierra, at least in some areas, probably higher. And it's just going to be super expensive. Your people are looking at five hundred dollars in gas just to get there. And then the fishing is going to be trash. Well, guess what? The next year or later that summer or whatever, they're not going to they're not going to go back. People are not going to go back and they're going to lose money. And these these resorts are in trouble. And um, if if any of the owners out there um, want to talk about it, maybe on the channel or or uh, or anything or have a statement for us on the channel, I, I would love to hear from you guys. I highly recommend that you guys reach out to uh, people like me that have the audience for the local um, the local fisheries. And let's come up with a plan here. I mean, let's figure something out, uh, some kind of donation, um, something. Let's get something together that we could put together to uh, save the fisheries up there and get some fish going outsourced and increase these plants because the state is absolutely dropping the ball. And uh, this is just sad. So Anyway, guys, I didn't want to bring you bad news, uh, but hey, um, along with that, we run a Patreon site, and uh, with that, we will be talking about the go-to lakes for the Eastern Sierra season, especially with these latest losses, and uh, hey, save the gas, guys. Don't just drive up there. Go over to my Patreon, pay the five bucks. We're going to be talking about all the worthwhile fishing spots. 
So uh, instead of just driving around aimlessly looking for fish, you can come over there and we'll tell you exactly where to go. I'm going to be pre-fishing um, the Sierra and uh, bringing back reports for you guys to use for your vacation. So if that's something that interests you, definitely click the link below. If not, uh, stay tuned on the channel here on YouTube by subscribing. Hit that bell. We'll be back with more um, news in California fishing and obviously fishing reports and other great adventures here on the channel. Uh, we love you guys and uh, you guys get out there and fish, but uh, but remember, put some of those fish back in the water because there's not very many more of them coming. So hopefully things improve. We'll see you guys out there on the shoreline. Thanks for watching.